Welcome to another Dragon's Dogma Tool video. Today we're going to talk about how you can change your vocation slash class. You might have picked Mage and you found out Mage isn't really my thing. Maybe I would try to be a thief, an archer, a warrior, a fighter, a sorcerer. You know, many of the other classes. Basically, this game here features a lot of classes, or vocations as they're called. You have the fighter, the archer, the thief, and the mage, which is all the ones you can start the game with. But when you get to the first main city, Wernwolf, 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 whatever it's called, uh, you will be able to get warrior and sorcerer as well. Warrior is a big, mighty, two-handed fighter, and sorcerer is a purely damage caster where mage also has a lot of support abilities you also have magic archer mystic spearhand trickster and warfarer i don't know where to get them yet i will of course make videos once i know it but so far i know you can get these from the start of the game and you will get these two in the first main capital you find hiding this again so basically how you change your vocation is basically well quite easy you go here to Wernworth here, then you can see you have the inn here, and you also got the Wernworth Vocation Guild. So you can see here Shakira, Shakira's Inn and Wernworth Vocation Guild. Let me just show you quickly. Here you have the merchant quarry, so basically here the merchant. There you got the inn, and just under below here, you got exactly the vocation. So now you talk with the guy. Greetings. Here we conduct all manner of procedures for and now you can say change vocation. I'm just gonna hide my webcam for a second. So down here, well actually we can uh, we can throw it down here. So actually what you can see now is that you can choose by using your DCP points up here, you can choose a fighter, an archer, a mage, beef. Of course, the more you play each of them, the higher ranks they will increase, which also will give you new spells like this ultimate spell they talk about which you probably first get in like max rank but now i could change to archer if i wanted i could change to a fighter i could change to thief or even warrior or sorcerer which is the two first vocations the new vocations you will be unlocking so i can click on warrior and basically i could unlock him not at the moment it requires me actually to get the weapon first for him um, which when you actually close this prompt it will give you a quest to find a great sword and it will ask you to find a quest to acquire a staff the moment you close this prompt now and say goodbye to him he will give you the quest to find those two weapons so then you can actually get them you will just buy them in the city that's pretty much it but again here i could also change to thief archer or fighter whichever i would like to do um yeah, that's pretty much it. And the same, you can also do it for your, your main pawn. So if you press C here, you can see now I'm changing to my main pawn here. And what I could do is, I, if I'm like, I don't want her to be a tank anymore, well, then she could be an archer, she could be a mage, she could be a thief, she could be a warrior, or she could be a sorcerer. It's up to me. I can change her into whatever I wanted her to be. But in this case, I like her to stay as a fighter. Uh, we can switch back to me. I might change the warrior. I might try out the sorcerer. I don't know. We'll see. But um, that's basically how you change your vocation by um, going to the inn here. I recommend going to this Ooh, one here. A pleasure. And you can also unlock sorcerer and the warrior through here. So, thanks for watching. Have a great day. And leave down a comment. Let me know if there's any questions you have about Dragon's Dogma 2. Or if you just want to help me with uh, boosting my YouTube algorithm by leaving any kind of comment. So thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.